Hello everyone and welcome to the final club rate action of the season as Rangers very comfortably beat St Mirren by three goals to nil at, what's it called? The Smith, Smith? Scotland, New St Mirren Park. New St Mirren Park. I'm Scott Carling, I'm with Ali Pearson. Ali, how are you? Yes, thank God for that. The, the, the very, very long season is now officially over and we can um, look forward to the summer. Yeah, today was very end of season vibes, if you like. It was not a very good game of football, uh, but Rangers comfortably won the game 3 0, and right, rightfully so, to be honest. Um, the team today was McCrory, Tavernier, Lundstrom, um, Sua. Sua, Yilmaz, Jack, Raskin, Raskin Cantwell, Cantwell Sakala, Matondo, and Hadji. First half, mate, um, well, what are your thoughts on the team, first of all, really? As said last, I'd be surprised if anyone was picked it correctly. Didn't really see Lundstrom coming. I think he said something about Kings. I don't know. He's not fit enough for us. He's played. Him. No, I, I, what, he, what he said pre match was he's not played a lot of football recently. He's, he's 18 years of age. <laughs> yes, he's not 38. So yeah, and that was a bit bizarre. But yeah. Lundstrom has played there before, so I wasn't too shocked. No, um, for me, I, just, I don't really understand it. If King was on the bench, why not play him? I, I don't see why you have to play Lundstrom at 10 and a half. Maybe it was a look at me being been able to adapt to formation as the game went on in order to move into a three and a, or a two to back whatever it may have been but um, yeah the first half mate you're going to need help me I can't remember when the first goal was scored when was it? <laughs> I'd like to say it was about 20 odd minutes yeah, I, can't really, I can't really remember maybe about 20 minutes something good like ball that. by Yilmaz know. yeah a really good ball ball. by Yilmaz look Fashion Jakala is an enigma he is because just previously to that he's a great run where he runs through he's at the edge of the box and he hits a shot and it nearly goes out the stand but then he does something I, I, I mean I, I'm people moan at me because I moan about Sakala right but he's one of the most frustrating players I've ever seen in my life it was a great ball by um, Yel Magic really was and Sakala does so well to get himself into the box the defending by St Murren is shocking and even at that the strike that he the shot that Matondo hits, he hits it at the defender that's on the line, but he manages to get it in, and it's a goal when we're one nil up. But yeah, fashion Sakala, mate. Yeah, I thought he, does, he does really well. To be honest, he goes by two St Mirren players in the box, and he just went for him to lash and hit the back of the net. And he when he hits it, he hits it in the area. Well, because the defender's there, and it kind of goes to the defender, and luckily it goes in the back of the net. Seven, not a similar goal, but his goal against um, Hearts was. A goal like that where it hits off the defender and stuff. So it's a fashion Sakala goal for me, and it's, <laughs> it's another goal for Sakala. I know, I know. No, I, I do know that. And the rest of the first half, there's not very much to report. We weren't, we weren't great. Sakala had another chance that hit this this side net, and I can remember. Matondo and blazed one over. Matondo as well. did blaze one over again. Another poor showing from Maton, from Matondo for me. Um, Sakala probably gets more leeway because he does get himself a, a brace today. Um, and at the second half, mate, and it was much much of the same. The game didn't really. Improve prove um, not really at all but Fashion Sakala again mate um, gets us to 2-0 to, to, to yeah. again he's out on the left hand side he cuts inside and he hits the shot keeper 100% should do better if you don't shoot you don't score mate and it's 2-0 and I'm getting messages from people going laughing at the, the Cobra striking again mate but it's uh, yeah I, I, I just I don't know Fashion yeah. <laughs> Sakala I really don't Build a team around him next season is our focal point. Nah, no, no, jokes aside, he does really well. It's similar type goal to the first one where he comes off the left, cuts inside. Like you say, he has a shot. The keeper probably should do better, but it's on target and he scores. And that's two goals for Fashion Scale. Yeah. I, I don't know what his goal ratio was this season. I've not Very really looked good. at it, but on paper, you would look at it and go, that's pretty decent to be fair for because our, our top line doesn't he really score goals and he's one guy that, that does score goals I think generally I think I've seen a start on Twitter that that's now 18 goal involvements he's had in 24 games I mean, or 27 games something <laughs> like that something like that but even at that you're still like and I, I'm constantly having a go at him do you know what I mean but it, it was 2-0 Rangers were away from possession as we were St Mirren throughout the game it was just a very end of season vibes no team would really have got anything to play for St Mirren have their best finish in the league for I don't know how many years, possibly ever, actually. I don't know if they've ever finished higher than sixth. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Um, and obviously we are comfortably, comfortably second. We made a number of changes. Um, Arfield come on, Devine come on, Trollac came on. King come on. King come on. Um, I've missed somebody else as well. Uh, but Hadji and Matondo um, were probably the two that I'd like to speak about. Hadji again for me, he wasn't involved today. Scores should be happy being at the game that you got to see Hadji up close, but I, th I thought again, Hadji for me, this just looks like a guy who's not played football. Yeah. He needs a pre season. I've said that it's, it's um, 
make a break for Hadji next season. What we do with him, I don't know what we do with him, but I'd, the players we're bringing in, I think he'll fall down the pecking order, if I'm, if I'm being um, honest about it. Decent wee touches now and again, but he just lacks something for me. Yeah, you? Barisic come on as well for Yilmaz, that was the other one that we made. And then we make it three, Tony Gold makes a makes his return, and makes his return to the... for a striker. <laughs> <laughs> and he returns to the, he returns to the, as the dog comes to join yes. us. Um, returns, uh, he returns to the squad with a, returns to the team with a goal. Um, this one's a really clever goal, um, a corner from Cantwell, and it's flicked on by Raskin to the back post, and Trollac's there to, to head it away, and you seen what it meant to him, mate, but again, that's a way to make an impact right at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah, off a train going, I think that one. Cantwell fizzes the ball to Raskin, knocks it back post, and there's, there's your striker where you want him. <laughs> yeah. um, and nods it away, and he, he goes straight to the Union Bears. And um, he'd be delighted, Joe. Yeah. I know it's the last game of the season, but for him to come back and get a goal, that is good for him going forward. So and I was delighted for him. Yeah, very good. And that's it. The referee blew the whistle, I think. Right on 90 minutes. Maybe just before 90 <laughs> minutes. It was a bit confusing in the stadium. Yeah, and we, f- we finished we finished the season like that. So overall, a disappointing season. I don't think there's really any great doubt. We're not standing here pretending everything's rosy, but I think I speak for myself here. I'll ask Ali in a second that I am. Um, I'm optimistic under what we are, we're going to see under Bill. If you consider who we've signed in the terms of Raskin, um, for, for, from all reports of what the kind of player Dowell is, uh, Campbell and Raskin, as I say, coming in, then I'm, I'm excited by it. Uh, before we do move on, mate, I think we need to give a special shout to John Souter today. I thought he was, yeah. again, absolutely solid. Kept Curtis Main quiet. And I know it is only Curtis Main, but he has been playing pretty well recently. And I obviously, mate, your thoughts for the, the, the end of the season. Yeah, I thought John Sutter was brilliant. I think he's been a, a positive in the last, you know, say five, six games since he's come back and he's, he's played. No qualms with John Sutter playing next season. Does he play beside Goldson? I don't know. I still think we'll go and look for a left sided centre half. Mm-hmm. But if Goldson is he back for the start of the season, John Sutter, I'm comfortable with him playing there. If, even in Europe, I think he's been very good and he will be very good next season for us. Yeah, final thoughts. This, well, this season hasn't been a disaster. Let's, let's not get away from it. It's been a disaster. Yes, we've finished it off with a 3 0 win. On the points we've actually ended up on, Cam, if you look at it, it's not bad. It's decent. Yeah. But we're up against a team that have, um, their record speaks for itself this season. Yeah. They, 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 unfortunately, they deserve to win the league. We, we didn't deserve to win it. But there's signs under Beal. We've cleared these players out, but they said we wanted to clear out. And it leads on an exciting summer for Rangers fan change off the park, and I think it's going to change it on the park. So I'm looking forward to next season. Yeah, looking forward to next season. Uh, again, just nothing else. Know what I said earlier, but if you're only watching this and didn't watch it all night, thank you very much for supporting this podcast yes. through another season. As I say, very, it's may have been a arcana poor season for um, Rangers but for us it's been a rather successful one for the podcast selfishly so say we're over 4,000 views over a, um, over 4,000 subscribers over a million views we're about 100 me- YouTube members coffee buyers all the donations that we get these have been absolutely superb uh, we will be back I think we're going to be back on Friday next week we'll probably take and we'll probably run it every Friday now through the summer until we decide to add in shows here or there and yeah we're going to have our, our thinking hats on about when we can get a um when we can get a live night and that sorted, all of that is very much in the pipelines. But yeah, just from all of us, thank you very much. Ali, enjoy your, your summer, mate. Oh, well, I'm just way down the throng gate now for a couple of beers. <laughs> <laughs> jokes, jokes aside, I will not be going there. Well, um, I'm going down the base road for a few drinks. I did see Scotia on oh, the yeah, TV. We did, we did see yeah. um, Club at 22's very own Scott Gemmel in the, the television we were watching. So, um, yes, I'm going to meet Scotia down the page. But, yes, thanks for everyone's support this season and we'll be back. We will be back. So, enjoy your summer, everybody. And be sure to drop in and see you from time to time. Um, thank you again to everybody. Uh, we are Club at 22, the Rangers podcast. Cheers, everybody.